All right. Little bit of a rough start there, guys. Hi, uh, it's Jerry Bellini from Recycle Parts for Art. And thank you for joining me today. We are going to be making um, these thank you tags that I give away in my Etsy shop. And um, hello there, Elizabeth and Catherine. How are you guys today? And uh, we'll just give it a few minutes um, because uh, like I said, I got off to a little bit of a rough start. Um, my autofocus was on and I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> Ian helped me. Hi, Deb, how are you? There's Ian, there's my guy. Yeah, my autofocus. Uh, so I was busy. <laughs> Good. I'm glad everybody's doing well. I was busy this morning working on a project, and um, I should have been getting ready for this live, but I. That's fine, Deb. I'm just glad you're here. That's great. Um, but I was working on this project, which I'm going to show you in a little while. Yeah. So I can't find my apron. I can't find anything. We're in the new art space. And um, this morning, just pull up my sleeves a little bit. So I was really looking forward to uh, doing this project with you guys. Let me make sure I stay on camera. I have my camera on this uh, thing that's very easy to move. It's awesome. All right. So I do want to show you <laughs> what I was doing this morning. I went a little crazy. And uh, I took, I don't know if any of you follow me on Instagram. So uh, we'll just chit chat for a couple minutes. Hey, Aunt Beck. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, anyway, so some of you follow me on Instagram. So I posted a little bit of a thing that I was doing in my art room this morning on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. <laughs> it's same name, Recycle Parts for Art, number four. And I'm um, posting on there all the time, different projects that I'm working on. So I did a little bit of a live this morning. It was a video. Oh, you don't do Instagram, Deb? I love it. It's like a quick, it's a quick fix. I gotta get my drink for art. You know, I just go in there and I scroll and I just love it. So forgive if there's any noise in the background. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Whoever gave me a thumbs up, I have to tell you, I have I have a troll. Hi, Barbara. Good to see you. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for the thumbs ups. I, I wish I wish we could get hearts here on, on YouTube, <laughs> but we can't. Anyhow, yeah, I have a troll. So whenever I put a, um, a video up, like within the first 10 views, I get a thumbs down. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Don't you? But you know what it tells me? It tells me that um, I have a successful channel. Yeah. Because they wouldn't bother me if I didn't, right? They, would, they wouldn't bother giving me a thumbs down. You don't take photos, Deb? Yeah, I'm always clicking my camera. I love it. So anyway, I'm sure I'm going to have a thumbs down while we're doing the live. I'm sure my troll is going to come on and, and thumbs down. Anyway, not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking too, Dawn. I was thinking the same thing. I said I must be, uh, I must be doing something right. Yeah, well, I turned mine off, actually. I turned them off a while ago, my thumbs up and down. I just, you know, I do videos because I love to share. And, you know, I just, uh, it doesn't matter to me, you know, if, if people give me thumbs down. I don't care. I like the thumbs up. <laughs> that, that doesn't make any sense. All right. I want to show you my project. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put this a cup of water because I might, I might knock it over. No, I will knock it over. That's what I do. I knock everything over because I'm fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now I want to see if I can show you without wrecking everything because there's something right over here that I want to show you. 
All right, let's move the water one more time. Sorry for the reach. All right, let's see if we could do this. Uh, oh, sorry, watch my hand's going to come up there for a second. All right, here. I hope it doesn't jerk. Are you ready? Drum roll. We get a drum roll for. <laughs> I was I was went a little crazy this morning. So what's right next to me? If you you saw my art studio thing, is a file cabinet. You see the leaves. It's a file cabinet. So this is the side. I'm trying to do this slow to edit so I don't make anybody sick. And of course it's backwards. It says uh, grateful. And over here it says grown with love. That's in the corner. So I, it's a file cabinet. And uh, yeah, see, see there's the drawers. It's that yellow file cabinet I used to have in my art room. Uh, at the other house you used to see it behind me isn't it cute so it goes it, it, it goes all the way to the floor so you know this is my signature thing I think these tags I love these tags so that's what I was doing this morning hi Kathy I hope I didn't miss uh, saying hi to anybody so that's what I was doing this morning guys in anticipation But when, um, yeah, when I'm sitting there, it'll be fun to see it. Okay, I think that's good. We want to make sure we're in frame. And I'm going to do something fun on the other side. I'm going to do um, my late, my people. I'll quick show you my people. Hold on. Don't say anything important. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to do one of these on the other side. It does make me very happy, Dawn. I, I love it here. I never want to leave this room. Thanks, Deb. Thank you. So these are my um, scribble people. And so um, I can flip through them quick if you want to see them before we get started on the tags. I'll just flip through them quick. Um, they're my scribble people that I did uh, last year for ink. October. It was in October and you were supposed to paint something or whatever every day. So I'm going to do somebody on one of these people on the other side. And they, they all say something. Yeah. I, I love these scribble people. I was going through a little something when I made them. Oh, you know what? The thrift shops are the best Aunt Beck. I love, I love them. So, yeah, I was going through a little something. And so I did the alphabet. They're kind of mixed up now. <clears throat> and so each day something would speak to me. Stop thinking and get moving. Let it out. I wasn't, yeah, I need, I was feeling a little frustrated. I needed to let it out that day. <laughs> uh, keep moving forward. She looks a little tired. Dream big. That big nose. I love that big nose. I'm going like this, like you're in, in here. You're up here. <laughs> Dare to be different. You are loved. I am going to do something with these people. Keep the key to your happiness in your own pocket. So don't count on anybody else to make you happy because it's not going to happen. Uh, this one was fun. Turn your life, turn your life around. So either way you look at it and it's a guy and it's actually me and my husband. All right. I had blonde hair here. <laughs> oh, thanks, Elizabeth. Thank you. Yeah. Some days you just don't feel, you just don't feel it. First love. There we are. Oh, see, I have to remember you're up here. First love. I can and I will. Bound and determined. That's Olga. Norma, it's been a very long day. She's tired. She was drooling. Yeah, right, Kathy? Me too. Because, you know, sometimes you, you trust other people for things and, and they, don't, they don't follow through. It doesn't work. Who are you when no one is looking? 
a crazy person. Yeah, I'm going to do something with them. I have an idea already, Aunt Beck, what I'm going to do with them. I'm just not going to say just yet. Uh, karma, what goes around comes around. So remember that when the trolls are giving you those thumbs downs. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. How are you? Thanks for coming. I choose joy, right? They're positive affirmations most of the time. Josie says, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Um, it hurts to let go, but sometimes it hurts more to hold on. Isn't that the truth? Good. I'm glad you're doing well, Nikki. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Hope, don't look back. Right? Never hopeless. Um, Gia is overwhelmed. That was a bad day. <laughs> Fern wants everyone to stop staring. So stop staring. And Eunice is not going to act her age. That's me because I'm getting older. And Daisy thinks too much. You can get in trouble when you think too much. Claire is very sad today. Yep. Some days you just got to let it happen. And Belle wants to make art. Alice is wondering. And that's it. These are just little scraps. So let's get started on our project, guys. I just wanted to share those with you. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Nikki. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting, I'm not starting. I've always been a little bit beating to my own drummer, but I'm getting even more that I'm doing, doing that. Um, that was a little bit of rebellion in me when I grew my hair out because, you know, whatever. Anyhow, let's talk about tags, guys. Um, this is how I make these tags. The first thing I do is um, I tea dye them. Do you have to tea dye them? I doubt it. Okay, now these are um, tags I tea dyed a long time ago, and I do not normally, I don't have this stuff in there. Okay, this was another project I was working on. So these are being recycled. So basically, uh, what I do is I tea dye them because I just like when things look, oh, look at my hands. Are they dirty or what? All right, so I just like when things look grungy. So if you want to make tags, you don't have to tea dye them. The other thing I do is um, I use file folders and I cut the file folders. Yeah, I, right? Right. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Yes, they have to. I don't like anything new and, pr and proper. Okay, so just for fun, I showed you. Oh, Juliana, you came. You made it. Okay, that's fine. That's great. If you can stay five minutes, that's fine. I made these um, these tags. I did a video on these um, just to show you if you wanted to make your own recycled uh, business cards, you know, and you didn't want to you didn't want to buy them. These are my, these are my business cards. And uh, can you see that? Is there glare there? I hope there's no glare. Is there glare? Say yes or no. Because we're sitting in the dark. Anyhow. Um, these are the business tags I would use when we, when my husband and I do art shows and I know it, I think it's showing up backwards for you. I'm not sure. A bit of glare. I don't know how to get rid of that. We have like so many windows in here. Let me see if I can put a piece of cardboard in front of the window. <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to work. Um, hold the thought, hold that. I think it's coming from this one window. Let's see. I haven't had a chance. <clears throat> don't say anything important. I haven't had a chance to um, think about my window treatments. I think that's going to help. Yeah, I think that helped a little bit, right? It's coming from that back window. Oh, you think Juliana? Of course she would know. She's a photography expert. I don't have any lights on in here. It's We're sitting in the dark, to be honest with you. Oh, they are showing up forward. So they just look backwards to me. Okay. All right. Awesome. That's great. That's good to know. Anyway, um, back to the task at hand here. 
So how can I fix it, Juliana? Because it's going to be a process to get this area. I'm in the darkest corner of the room. I didn't want any natural light to interfere with when I do videos. So I do have to get some kind of blinds or something up. It's good enough, though, for today, though, right? Yeah, I hope so. Um, but I'll get some kind of blinds at some point. Who wants to come over here and help me? Okay, think about it then, and then you can tell me. Who's coming down? Who's coming to Pennsylvania? Come on, Catherine. You live in Allentown. You should be here. I'm 15 minutes from you. <laughs> you should be here now. We could be doing this together. It would be fun. Everybody, and Juliana, she could take the bus. She could, she could be here in two hours. All right, good. It's good enough for today anyway. Yeah, you have to come, Catherine. How, where do you live, um, Nikki? Oh, Catherine, yeah, definitely. If you thought about coming down, you should. You should come down. We could have some fun. We well, got to wait until I get the room cleaned up, but no, maybe you could help me. Oh, I didn't realize you were from the UK. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize that. You are a little far. You don't work, right, Catherine? See, I know we said I said we were going to work on a project, but I have to talk to my peeps because I miss you guys. All right. Yeah, we have to make a date. You should email me. Um, and we can exchange phone numbers and stuff. It's Recycle Parts for Art with the number four at gmail.com. Anybody can email me. Well, Nikki, if you visit the you know United States, then you have to come and visit. I'm in Pennsylvania. All right. So anyway... <laughs> Kathy said, uh, whatever I do has to look old and grungy. So this is my business card. So I did this because I wanted to show people how they can make, you know, um, sorry for the glare. That's okay, Juliana. Anyway, so you can make your own little cards. And of course, they're not really grungy. They're nice and clean. And I keep, I keep looking at them thinking, what is wrong with them? It's just they're too clean. So what I did in this video is I showed you how you could go into your, if you have, it's overexposed. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, Juliana. Uh, that's, you know, just reminding me, she's writing in all caps. So if you want my attention, definitely write in all caps. Because when I start working, I won't notice. You think so, Juliana? <laughs> Anyhow, so I did in a pages program, I set up a, um, to, to print these out is so easy. You know, if you just wanted to make your own. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Let's get rid of this. So they're not dirty. So that's why they don't look like me, Kathy. So the other thing I do is, and remember, these are for my, um, these are my little thank you cards for my Etsy shop. So when somebody spends uh, $25, I give them one of these, the big tags. And if they spend 10 I give them the little, the little tags, you know, see, so these are little tags. They're the same amount of work. I don't know why I do that. But anyway, what I do is I save all my little leftover pieces of uh, cardstock from projects. And then I go back. I just, I just enjoy putting things in people's, you know, packages. That's why I do it. Janet, hi, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming. So these are just random pieces. This is cardstock. So random pieces of cardstock. And sometimes I just rip them. And sometimes I cut them. I like, I prefer them when they're ripped. So that's, that's what I do. Um, you, okay. What software am I, are we using on YouTube? Oh, you use the editor on YouTube. Okay, I have a Mac, so I use iMovie. I love iMovie. So here's some cards um, in progress. So I do them, like I, I rip a whole bunch of cards. I get that stuff ready. Then I sit down and do the next step, which is what we're going to do. 
we're going to do the next step. So we're going to take some of these cards and some of these tags. And we're not going to beat this to death. I have all my supplies around me. So the first thing I do here, I'm going to show you what I'm using, is um, ephemera. Okay? So it's, um, if anybody wants my attention, all caps, because now I'm going to look at my stuff. So I use old book text. Um, I have these, these bingo sheets that I like to use. Um, here's, here's some of them. I sell these in my Etsy shop too. I have to plug myself, right? <laughs> and dictionary paper. I use this and just whatever. So it goes in this little, and then I like to use this, um, pattern sewing pattern paper. So let's do something. All right. So now I have some glue that I use this, um, container. And I put whatever in here. It could be Elmer's glue. It could be, I use, I'm using this now because I ran out of the Elmer's. I put it in here and I add water and I make it, um, you know, juicy. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of juicy. Yeah, I do feel definitely overexposed here. All right. So then I'm going to, all right, I, I, I rolled up my sleeves and then I rolled them down. So we'll just do a couple and I have them in various um, stages of doneness so we don't make a whole day out of this and you don't want to hang up on me. All right. So I put glue on my tag and then I have to get used to the fact that you're above me. I'm not, I'm thinking you're over here. That's how I do my, um, how, how I've been doing my filming. Anyway, so I do put glue on both surfaces. And if you don't want to use this messy glue, all right, thanks, Juliana, because it's driving me crazy. Um, you can use a glue stick. So I do that too. And this is quite messy. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I do because I'm busy talking. Um, I don't work right on this mat. So let me wipe that off. Give me a second. Talk amongst yourselves. All right. So what I do, avalanche, um, is I work on, and where did I put them? Oh, here they are. I work on a, um, I normally work in a, a telephone book. Uh, so that I can keep turning the pages, but I threw the telephone book out when I moved. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm organized. All right, good. You're talking about um, how to do filming, how to edit. Okay, so that's what I do. I'm going to just do that. So I do this to a bunch of cards. So however many that I have tea dyed, um, I'll just, you know, sometimes I do 20, 30, whatever. I do a lot. I go through a lot of these cards. Thank you very much because you wonderful people have been making a lot of purchases for me in my Etsy shop. And I really, really, really appreciate your support. So that's what I do. I just glue random pieces of paper onto these tags. I'm sure all of you have done this 8 million times. All right. All right. Now we're going to do one more. And then I'm going to show you the next uh, next thing that I do. All right, Aunt Beck, thank you so much for coming. I really, really do appreciate it. As soon as I get um, more settled in this house, I am going to be participating in some of your wonderful swaps. 
and stuff infected these inchies that I was so jealous. I love inchies. And I wanted them. But I just, if I take on one more thing, I don't know. I'll shoot myself. All right. So basically you can use, um, you know, any kind of book text. You can use new book text, old book text. It really doesn't matter because you're going to grungify it. The file cabinet that I showed you in the beginning. Yeah, we're due for a swap. <laughs> um, I actually put uh, pattern paper on there first. Juliana, you missed the file cabinet. I, I did this tag technique to my the side of my file cabinet. All right, so that's what I do. So I take, you know, 20 minutes and I do that. Generally when I'm talking to um, Elizabeth in a chat, <laughs> I'll do that. So now I have, pardon my reach, now I have all this. So sometimes I use tissue, um, napkins rather. Okay, so sometimes I use brown paper. Should I bring you down a little closer? I don't know. I'm afraid to touch the camera. So you see, I use all sorts of things. This is just an old pattern and just some book text. Okay, so now. And this because you have to go. You like my tags, Elizabeth? I hope that's what you mean. And my stash is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be making ephemera packs for the uh, Etsy shop because I have way too much. All right, great, Dawn. You have a nice day at work. All right, so now that I've gotten all the, the ephemera on here, I'm sure you guys are waiting for the last part, what I do. you I know you missed my file cabinet because you came on a couple minutes late. You'll see it's in the beginning. All right, so now here, now I need some paint. And I just happen to have some ready. So what I do, and I'll use any paint. Okay, so this is white paint that I was using to paint the file cabinet. And I'm going to use my glue brush because, yeah, I'm shame. Shameful, shameless, and it's watered down. And so um, now I just take my cards and I just get the paint on there, right? To make them look messy. And where's my little card that I was gluing on? Here's another one. I have a fresh, I have a whole stack of these mailers, a whole stack of them because they come, they're free, you use them, you get them dirty, and you throw them out. So that's what I do. Yes, a whitewash. And it's light because you really, you don't want to cover up your whole background, Elizabeth. You just want to, and then you just, I do everything assembly line. Okay, and I'm not I'm not neat. I don't know if you'll be able to do that, Elizabeth, because you're so neat when you work. What do you think? Okay, so it pushes back the um the you know the the writing and stuff on here. It just pushes it back so that you don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> you got stuck at random. You're so funny. Elizabeth has um, a, a YouTube channel. If um, you don't know, it's called um, Never Hopeless. And she does lots of things uh, with the Fobonichi. And you should check out her channel. Um, you know what we're going to do today? I think we're going to, anybody who has a YouTube channel, we're going to... Um, advertise ourselves. That's what we're going to do. So uh, put your YouTube channel in, or I think, is it, is there dots on the side of your name? 
Aw. On the side of everybody's name, can you click on there's dots or something? I'm not seeing them on my on my screen, but I think there's dots and you can go to different people's YouTube channels. Is that correct? Yes, Elizabeth. Oh, do you watch her, Catherine? She just did a series or she's doing a series. Okay, you can click on the person and it will take you to the channel. Okay, so who has a channel? Say so. Say, say if you have a channel and then everybody can click on your name and go visit your channel. Okay. Yes. Who else has a channel? Oh, I didn't know you followed Elizabeth, Catherine. Do you follow Benici? Deb has a channel. Yes. Her channel is awesome. She does great things. She does a lot of different things. So go visit Deb's channel. And Nikki has one. Aunt Beck left, but she has one too. Yeah, I'm a sub on, I think I'm a sub on all of your channels. Unless there's somebody in here that I don't know. Oh, I didn't know you Fobanichi, Catherine. You should you should start a channel. All right. So now you whitewash the cards. All right. Now we're going to get rid of these. I'm going to put them aside so they can dry. Because by the time they dry, you'll all be sleeping. Now we could do the next step. Let's get rid of this paint because you know I'm going to spill it. Um, the other day I was, <laughs> was working on something and um, I had, a, of course, I had a cup of water and a, another cup for my brush. And yeah, I was drinking the paint water. Something's wrong with me. Oh, you have. I didn't know you. To, what, what were you teaching, Catherine? Mixed media or the Fobonichi? I'm going to get some that have been whitewashed. Oh, I hope there's more than one. Here they are. All right. Pardon my arm. Gosh. Yeah, you know, Deb, I get it. You know, we go off and on. I get, like, overwhelmed. Mixed media. Oh, Catherine. Let me know if you do that again. I was thinking of doing classes here in my house. I thought it would be fun. My studio holds the table. I have two tables put together. It holds eight people could sit very comfortably. Yeah, I thought that would be fun. You guys know um, Kyla Give Hand? Yeah, wouldn't it be fun? I know. I, I really want to. Kyla Give Hand is going to come out and do a class. Uh, here probably more towards the fall because the the house should be ready by then. She's a big uh, book artist. Okay, so now we've got. I'm going to try to stay focused so we're not on here for hours as much as I want to chit chat with everyone forever. Okay, you know Kyla. Okay, yeah. I'm taking an entrepreneur, a business class with her. Kyla? Yes, she does. She did book in a day um, a few, quite a few years ago where she did, I think she did it once a week for 52 weeks. She made a book every week. Very interesting. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. All right. So now. I love Kyla. All right. What we're going to do next, we've got the whitewashed. Okay. Just imagine it. Now you're going to get some um, stamps. And I use the same stamps because, because I love them. And this one is my favorite. And don't ask me where I got it. I have no idea. Oh, you 
do, Catherine. That's wonderful. Catherine, are you having any classes coming up? I didn't know, you know, I didn't know anybody did classes around here. That's awesome. Okay, so I got this stamp um, recently, you know, because these are thank you tags. I want them, the people to know that I'm grateful and thank you and stuff like that. So here, I'm just going to show you. So I have this grateful. You just had one on Saturday. You, did you go to the rubber stamp show? In Allentown, I didn't go because I just couldn't buy. I just couldn't buy anything else. Not right now. I got to put this stuff away, so I need to ink my thing. It's it's a little dry. All right, so I like to use tags that you know speak from the heart. So I have that. Um, I like this one too. Let me show you. But, oh, here it is. Every possibility begins with the courage to imagine. Yeah, I like this one. So I thought it would be nice on a tag, but my tags are. Okay, so you didn't go. Yeah, all right, so that one didn't stamp. I didn't put enough on there. But it, I just. I only have a couple, like I said, and I have a thank you one. Here's here's the thing with my, oh, this one. I love this one. Grown with love um, because my, my hearts look like uh, flowers. So I use this one and the grateful. And then I have this little thank you tag. So basically when I make these tags and I always um, initial, put my initials in the corner. When I make these tags, I want people to use them. So I try to keep a positive something, positive affirmation, positive quote, positive something on the front. And like, I don't put um, my store name on it or anything. I just, I just sign it down in the corner and I just want them to use it. I hope people are using it, but they might be throwing them out. Who knows? So anyway, the next, <laughs> next thing, yeah, I think that's why, I, that's why I didn't go. I just didn't want to spend the money. I didn't want to bring home the stuff. Oh yeah. You save your, I know you put everything in your Fobonichi. It's wonderful. And I used to do a Fobonichi too, and I stopped. Oh, thanks, Catherine. Um, I stopped doing the Fobonichi only because I was moving and I started to get like really overwhelmed. So I didn't want the pressure of any, anything. So I stopped doing that. I stopped doing everything except, you know, my work, I have to do that. So now I generally put just a couple hearts here. Yeah. And I'll pick, I'll pick everything back up. So sometimes I put one, and sometimes I put more than one and okay, sometimes, cause see, I have this out. So I use this stamp. I love, um, printing. So I use this one all the time and all right. I don't have too many whitewashed. I'm really disappointed. Okay. So, um, I'll just put some, some lettering on there just to kind of get it with some fun information, some fun stuff on it. All right, so I do that. Don't overthink it. That's what I have to say about that. Don't overthink it. And sometimes the hearts go, you know, down towards the bottom, wherever I feel like putting them. So this one, maybe I'll put two. And I have, I have other hearts over here. So I like this one too. So sometimes, and they say three is always a better number. So sometimes I'll just stick another one in there. Okay, so now I'm getting them ready for the next step. Okay, Janet, go right ahead. That coffee sounds good. In fact, I'm going to take a sip of my water. Excuse my arm. Yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. <laughs> 
to combat all the trolls that, well, not all the trolls. I mean, it's not like I have a million people giving me thumbs downs. I have one. Anyway, we won't talk about that. We won't give them the power. All right, so this is what I do. So I do some stamping, and these are my favorite things, is the words, um, the grateful, the grown with love. All right, and sometimes I put them sideways. Okay, so now that I have that, let's get some. We got them up here. They're all waiting. Um, let's stamp this one. And we didn't do any cards. We're not going to bother doing the little cards. Let me get some hearts on here. I don't want this to be an all-night thing. You love the heart stamp. This one. I know. I do, too. Good. Get a cup of tea. Oh, you want your, <laughs> you are a tea girl. Yeah. I drink coffee in the morning and tea in the afternoon. Um, you could see it's a clear, it's one of those white clear ones and it came in a package, Elizabeth. It was one of those long skinny packages. I do remember that. And I had a whole bunch of hearts, um, that were in it. And I'm sure it came from Michael's. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's get rid of that. All right, what the next thing I do, where is my, okay, here, I wanted to show you here, this stuff. All right, so these are my supplies to make these cards. Glue stick or glue, either one. Oh, you are, well, then you'll look for it. And if you can't find it, um, no, I don't free. I don't freehand those hearts. See, now you know my secret. I did freehand the ones on the file cabinet, though. Obviously, I don't have a stamp that big. So these are my supplies. These are what I. This is what I use. So this is my most favorite pencil in the whole wide world. Okay, it is a Kimberly General pencil, and it is okay. The thing got cut off on that one. It's a 9X, a 9XB. Can you see that? A 9XB. And it's a fat pencil. So this is a regular, you see this is a regular pencil? So you can see it's a fat pencil. And I absolutely love these pencils. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I only have a million of them, Catherine. These these trays, Catherine's talking about these trays. We used to have beads in them at the bead shop that I had. And so I, I have a million of them. So I have everything in them. See, there's another one with my, uh, with my collage fodder and stuff in. Anyhow, so I use this general pencil. And um, I will use also this Uniball Signo pen, the bold one. Yes, they are great. They hold projects and everything. I also use um, this Sharpie pen, the no bleed one, the fine tip. So that's what I'm using. Um, and then I use um, metallic. Um, gel pens. Now, I went to Dick Blick, I don't know, a year or two ago, and I, I saw these at you speaka, I think, if you if I'm pronouncing that right. And I like them better than the um, Sakura pens. Yeah, I just do. So I have a set of these. Oh, what is your name? Eclectic? Thank you for joining. You can just tell me your first name if you don't mind. So I use these pens and we'll get to that in a minute. My husband just came in. You probably hear him walking. All right. So, of course, you know, you need a scissor and I have a water brush here. Um, and ignore these those two things. And this is my lip gloss, Yvette. 
I thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. How did you hear about our um, our live today, if I may ask? Are you a part of my YouTube channel? Are you one of my subscribers? All right, so let's um, we'll move on. So now the next thing I do, let's, let's do this one. Oh, great, awesome. Thank you, you bet. I um, use my a Sharpie. Good, Janet, you got your coffee. And I just draw in, so this I do hand draw. Just draw in the, um, the stems and the leaves. Here, pardon my arm. Okay. All right, so there's one that's partially done. And then I just kind of, you know, put put some um, leaves in. And I don't, I really don't overthink it and I'm kind of sloppy. All right, so I'm prepping it. And then I take, so that's what I do with this. And then I take this um, wonderful pencil, where is it? This wonderful pencil. Yeah, it's, it's cold and rainy here, too. My husband said it's going to be 80 on um, Saturday. Yeah, it's like 40 degrees here. So now I just gonna, I'm just going to mark around um, the edge. Very sloppy because that's what it's all about for me. Uh, it snowed last night here, Janet. I know Janet's in New York, and I'm in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, I just go around. Okay. With the pencil, this pencil, I love this pencil. All right. That's what I do. All right. So now we've got, um, let's see, we got three here. Cause this one's done. You could use a regular pencil if you don't have this one. I know, I know, Elizabeth, it's hot there. You know what's going to happen? It's going to get hot here, and I'm going to be very uncomfortable <laughs> because I'm so used to being cold. Janet, you probably stepped away for your coffee. Um, this is, when I said what this is, it's, um, let me show you on this one. It's a Kimberly General Pencil. It's a 9XXB. Um, you know, it's not... Um, it's not charcoal, so it must be, I don't think it's charcoal. It must be some kind of graphite. It doesn't say what it is. Yeah, I don't think, no, it's definitely not charcoal. But I love it, okay? So I just kind of go around, and sometimes I just make marks like that on the card just to, I don't know just because I don't like too much empty space. Um, whoever just came in and didn't see the beginning, do go back to the beginning when we're finished and check out my big project. I made an enormous um, tag on the side of my file cabinet. And I showed that. No, it doesn't smear. It doesn't water. Um, here. Now that I said that, let's see this one. It's got paint on it. I'm so sloppy. I need to clean my stuff up when I'm finished with it. It doesn't, it doesn't move. Okay. So yes, you could Mod Podge on it. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. All right. So now that I put those little marks, I just do whatever. I draw in, and I like to use this um, uh, Sharpie because it's permanent for the stems. And the reason, you'll see in a second. All right, so there. Now let's just put some 
I keep, you know, this is going to be a while to get used to this. I keep thinking you're looking at me from the left, but you're right above me. So I'm just going to put some, some, uh, some leaves here. Okay, that's it. And now we're ready for the fun part. I think it's the fun part, coloring them. Um, yeah, these are great pencils. Um, I'll tell you who told me about them. Uh, the very first time I ever saw them used, it was by Mistel. Um, I don't know how to spell her last name. Kirk Keen or something. Kirk something. Mistel. She's a, an artist. She's a fabulous artist. And many years ago, I took a couple classes from her and she uses these pencils. And I just, I fell in love with them. I have a bunch of them. I th they're only sold, I think they're sold in a package of one or two in a package. And I think they're $2.99. All right. So now, now that I have um, all this stuff on there, now I want some color on here. And I have done color. Um, yeah, I know, Catherine. That's why you got to stop watching all these videos. No, don't, don't do that. Um, I'm a big recycler, so, uh, you won't have to buy too much with me. <laughs> you can use the junk out of your, out of your house. All right. So I have colored these in several different ways. Depends on what I have available. Um, I have used watercolor paint, which I have handy. My watercolor paint. I have used watered down acrylic. I have used these um, these gel pens, and that's why I have them here. You know, I haven't tried my pit pens on them, but of course they would be awesome. <gasps> You're kidding, Nikki. You sold off. You were going to give it up. Why were you going to give it up? Did you just get overwhelmed from it, from having all the stuff? I can't wait to hear. I'm, I'm looking. So sometimes what I do is I just, um, I just scribble in there. Oh, glory. The glare is like killing me here. <laughs> I know. I I'm going to do, you know what? I'm going to do, um, my next shop update is going to be showing my bottle cap wind chimes. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Nikki. Yeah, I know. I've gone through that when my mother died three years ago. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. So I under, I totally understand. But you know what? It's an excuse to go buy new stuff. So have fun. Yeah, have fun and do that. All right. So that's what I do sometimes. I use these pens. And today I actually like these. And so, no, I thought I had an orange one here, but I don't. Okay. So today what I did is I grabbed some of my Tombow markers because I haven't tried those yet. Good. All right. That's good, Nikki. I'm glad to hear that. You know, um, I find, I find the uh, social media, the people on the internet, um, they do lift your spirits. Yeah. You have to just stay away from anybody who's negative when you're going through stuff like that. All right, so I haven't used the Tombow markers yet. I don't know. And I'm mixing this today, so <laughs> I'm making a mess. So I just made mud. All right, so then um, I do, I color in the stem generally with, uh, with the metallic because I like the way that looks and I'm experimenting with the Tombow markers. So let's do, let, let's do both. Cause that's what I do. Shake it up, man. Who's going to get this card <laughs> in their package? They're going to go, Oh, yuck. 
Yeah, you know, your friends, they can help. I'm going to put some Tombow marker over top of this paint and see what happens. I'm going to wreck my tip. All right. You know what I really like to do? Let's do one. Um, I'll fix that later. I'm going to do one with the watercolor paint because that's what I really like to do. And I hope that white doesn't. Let's go like that. So here is my water brush. And I just primed it. And this one's my favorite one. Now, the I made this. Um, they smeared on you, huh, Elizabeth? I would say they would reactivate if you got them wet because they're watercolor. Yeah. So maybe that's why they would smear. So this is a paint palette that I made myself. These are um, Daniel Smith watercolor paints. And I bought the box and then I bought these little containers and I put my own. Oh, your fingers. So it wasn't dry. No, they must not be like the zigs because the zigs are permanent. I have those too. Um, I got a little heavy handed with the paint because I'm trying to read the comments. All right. So I like to mix my colors. I just like the way that looks. Okay. And let them blend. Now these are the watercolor. And at first when I started using this, I thought, oh, this is never going to work because it's on top of um, the white paint or the gesso or whatever. But it, it seems to be fine. Now, what people, yeah, I would use a heat gun, Elizabeth. What people do with the cards after I give it to them, I have no idea. It might smear. So now I'm going to do the leaves. And I could do the hearts in the watercolor paint and I then I can switch over if I want to and do my um my favorite green metallic for the stem and I kind of just color that in just do whatever you feel like doing just have fun with it you can't really you can't wreck them as she wrecks them let's just put a little tombow marker in there too And um, sometimes I'll put um, grass at the bottom. Just I scribble it in like that. See, and this one needs um, a stamp on it. It needs. Um, Okay, so it depends. See, these stamps are two different sizes. And it depends on how much empty space I have, which one I'll use. Um, we're going to use Grown With Love. Okay, Grown With Love. And we're going to put it on the side. All right, there. And you don't have to see it real clear. It's okay. I know it's there. Each one is its own little masterpiece. All right, so then I take a look at it. And I, if I feel like it's missing something, then I go in and, and make marks with this pencil. And... I showed you a tray full of stuff. So sometimes I'll use this pen and, you know, sometimes I'll use the Sharpie and sometimes I'll use this. So 
We did put some grass down here with the green pencil, but I feel like we should put a little bit of something. So I'm just going to add. And then I always sign it in the corner. Just my initials. That's pretty much it. All right, Deb, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. It was good to see you. Yeah, I just, I just initial it. But yes, you should always sign your work. So that's it. And like Elizabeth uh, says, and then you call it macaroni. It's, it's done. And it's awfully glary. So here I have a whole bunch of these here that have to be painted and fussed with. And they'll just look beautiful when they're done. They look like yuck as you're working along. You think, oh, they're never gonna, they're never gonna look good. And these I did on, um, oh, I hate this glare, on some jelly uh, paper. So I use up my scraps. So that one's getting ready, and they're all different shapes and sizes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show my um, my file cabinet again. For the people that are that are here, I'm gonna just move some of the junk. Be quiet! I have to choke you. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on! Please don't hate me. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Somebody, somebody just came to the door. I'm so sorry. All right. My husband just took them out. All right, so now, now I'm so sorry. I want to show you um, my file cabinet. I showed it in the beginning. So for those of you that didn't see it, it's a giant tag. It's on the side of my file cabinet. Yeah, I love it. I just did it this morning. Um, the background is um, patterned tissue paper. All right, so first of all, it's a metal file cabinet. But that's okay, because everything stuck to it. So I used uh, patterned uh, tissue paper, you know, from an old sewing pattern. So I glued that down. And then once that was glued down and it dried, I took some white uh, paint wa paint, and I whitewashed it, just like I did the cards. And then um, I took some black gesso and I watered it down and I used a sponge brush and I wiped over the whole thing. Now, if you were sitting here, you could see that there's tissue paper back there, but you can't really see it on the camera, but you could see the tissue paper a little bit. So then after I wiped it with the um, watered down black gesso, then I took this pencil and I sketched very, you know, just to kind of get the placement of where I wanted to put my hearts. And then I use, I didn't use uh, watercolor paints. What I use to paint that is, um, well, this isn't the color, but uh, you know, these paints that we all just went crazy with and bought, <laughs> Catherine didn't get any cause I went to Hobby Lobby before her. Uh, the F and W um, acrylic, that's what this is. The F and W acrylic paints. 
and I got it, got it a little watery because I like to blend the color like that. And then, you know, of course, did the same thing with the leaves. And I don't know if you can see, I have like scribble marks on here. You could see here, you could see that this one's dark. So I have scribble marks here and there. And then um, I wasn't happy with it. it. It wasn't dark enough. So then I actually took a pit pen. I don't know where I did, what I did with it. A pit, uh, a brush. Here it is. Uh, Faber-Castell pit pen. And then I went and did the dark and then I did the lines here and then I wrote grateful. I'm very, I'm grateful. My husband made me this beautiful art room. Okay. Yeah. So that's how I did this. And I did it this morning. Like, and I just finished it a couple minutes before we did the live. Yeah. I like the yellow orange too. Um, I love yellow. Yellow is my happy color. And it's actually, I used, I'll tell you exactly what colors I used here. I used red, believe it or not. But when I mixed the yellow in it, of course, it turned orange. So that's what's giving it this little, you can see peaks of red and stuff in it. And down here, I used a bright green, not the one I just showed you. Oh, I used ochre. Ochre and red. That's the two colors up here. And then I used a bright green down here and an olive green. So I mix, I mix the colors up. Now where are you going to find the file cabinet? <laughs> okay, I'm going to, I'm going to put you down now so you can see my table again. All right. So basically the reason I showed you the file cabinet is um, you can recycle anything, guys. Let me read the comments, make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, you don't see the black, you can't see the black gesso, uh, Catherine? Oh, while well, I'm pointing at it now. Yeah, I, it was very, it was like a wash. I really watered it down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Kathy, I didn't know that. That's great. That's why I always say happy yellow Monday because Mondays, my husband's usually cranky on Monday because, you know, the weekend is over. Well, he's cranky all the time now because he's working every single day building the house. But uh, that's beside the point. But anyway, um, I just for fun, I started to say, uh, wear yellow on Monday and tell him happy yellow Monday. It's Monday. We have to be happy. So, yeah, it's my happy color. So, um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. So what's everybody going to be doing for the rest of the day? Anything fun? I hope, um, you understood like what I, how I made these. If anybody has any questions, just, just ask. Yeah, he does. A oh, good. Thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah, I really just wanted to chit chat with you guys and show you how I made my cards. And just, I think I would like to do, um, oh yeah, I saw you were doing that, Elizabeth. I would like to do some lives after I get situated in the house with, maybe I could do some more regularity and we could work on a project. Oh, nice. You're crocheting. That's I've been crocheting and doing a little hand stitching. Lives are fun. I do I do enjoy them. Yeah, I would love to I would love to um you know, spend some more time with you guys. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. You're so sweet. Oh, nice, Catherine. Catherine, I really, we have to get together. I, I need a buddy. I don't have anybody. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, it's just me in this art room. It's crazy. I don't know if we're going to do, um... no, I never did, Kathy. I totally forgot all about it. I have to try it. 
I've been so crazy busy with this house. I barely cook. I tell my husband every, every other night I say, you, you have to cook tonight. And he doesn't cook. He goes and gets takeout. Yeah, I do. Now I can't remember what I do with the recipe. Will you send it to me again? <laughs> I don't. You have my email. It's um, recycleparts4art at gmail.com. Don't forget it's number four. We Do you mind sending this? Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. Yeah, I forgot those ribs. They looked so good. And we love ribs. My gosh. I'm going to go with my... Um, my girlfriend, who's not an artist, I don't have any artist uh, friends except Catherine. Uh, I'm going to go out for supper with her on uh, Wednesday. We're going to go to Fridays and get ribs. Yeah. Yeah. We should do this regularly. I was thinking maybe I don't like to watch TV. I don't really like TV. So I was thinking maybe one night and I hesitated. Um, I'm in Pennsylvania, Justin. Justine, Michigan. Yeah, it's a little far. Um, yeah, I didn't do anything at night on my uh, with my YouTube because the lighting in my other house was hideous. But Brian actually put um, lights right above me here, so I think um, I think the lighting will be really good. I think maybe we could do a live in the evening. You know, just hang out for an hour and do some crafting. I, really? You find that? Yeah, I find everybody's in California. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be fun. Just maybe one night a week we could get together and just hang out. Does anybody else here do lives? I love them. I know Maridel Abrams, um, she, she didn't come today, unfortunately. Uh, she's a friend of mine and she, she's the Mary Atelier. She does lives on Friday night. I don't get to get into them very often. Friday nights are a busy night with Brian and I. Yeah, I think it would be probably during the week, I think, Kathy. Maybe we could work on, um, you're busy with your husband, right? But he could fall asleep and then you could you could come on and, and visit with, with us when he falls asleep. Yes, Becky, when does she do hers? Does she does she do them regularly? I caught a couple of them. Oh, sure, Elizabeth, I get it. Well, sometimes, you know. When I, when I pop into a live, I just feel like some company. I just feel like I want to feel like I'm sitting with someone. And so I'll just go on. I'll just sit there and listen and watch and talk. Oh, right. Of course, the time zone thing. It would be really late for you, wouldn't it, Nikki? I could, I could vacillate between days and nights. I could do one week days and one week nights. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hardly on my computer during the day because I'm at, I'm at the house now. And so, um, I have a huge, I'm going to show you, you want to see my mess? Janet's sipping on her coffee. I'm going to show you my room. It's, um, it's a hideous mess. And then let's see, I'm going to put, put you up so you can see me. <laughs> Here I am. Hi. Okay, so let me show you my room. What a disgusting mess it is. And let me see. It. Look at it. It's like, it's a big mess. Yeah, I think it will be fun. I'm Ian saying hello to me. Oh, he's saying hello because I came over here. Here I am. <laughs> okay, so um, this is my room. Uh, let me see what you're looking at and then I'll go over and tell you what, it, what we're doing here. All right. So I have four Ikea carts, so don't say anything to me for a second. It's a love. It's lovely. Crafting is never a mess. <laughs> yeah. It's, 
I just want to get, I want to get it where there's some empty um, space so that I can, I, it makes me nervous, like all this mess all the time. I need some clean space. So I have four Ikea cards. I'm still trying to decide what to do in them. And this is um, the drawers. I can see that I'm still on the camera. Don't talk to me though, because I can't see your thing. So I keep my papers and stuff in here. I was thinking maybe when I'm finished with my room, I'll do, when it's all, everything's really all in the right place, then I'll do a little studio tour. So these are the two tables I was telling you about. I don't know if you even know if you can notice that they're tables. Really long. They would see eight people so we could have classes and stuff. Fly in. We could all come and have a good time. Uh, my husband just hooked up my sink over there. And we have hot water. So he says, so now I could actually live here if I want to. <laughs> I have to sleep on the floor. And um, that's my closet full of stuff and uh, bookshelves over there. And then there's another area. Let me see if I can turn the camera. Yeah, this is nice. This is on a boom thing. So you'll never see it like this messy after I live here because I'm too embarrassed. But now I have an excuse. So there's my video camera over there. And there's another, you can't see it because it's on the other side of that yellow cabinet. There's another shelf. So there's, uh, Brian made me see there. See the shelf? Brian made me this shelf out of um, reclaimed wood. All right, I'm going to flip you back around. That's my humidifier. So um, the shelf he made, it was um, the floor in the house um, that we recycled. Okay, now you could talk if you want to say anything to me. Yeah, I don't always straighten up when I'm finished, Kathy. I'm I'm a slob, actually. Yeah, my room is really big. It's really big. Um, it was, th oh, sorry, my dirty hands are right in camera. It was three bedrooms. Uh, Brian found the house uh, about a year ago, and um, it's a ranch, and it's in an L shape. And the L part of it was three bedrooms. And down at the other end was three more bedrooms, but they were very small bedrooms. And the art studio, I don't know why such a tiny house, because the house itself is really tiny. It's a very, it's a small kitchen, living room, and a very small eating area. And that's it. And um, I can't imagine six bedrooms in this tiny house so anyway when he saw it he said this is going to be perfect for your art room so it was already here so he took all the walls down that's why it's such a big a big room no i mean it's just the two of us in fact we only have two bedrooms now because the three bedrooms down at the other end of the house um i wanted a laundry room upstairs so we um he moved all the walls. That's why it's taken so long. He moved all the walls around and made two decent sized bedrooms. I say decent sized. They're still very small. They'll fit a bed and a dresser maybe. And then he made a bathroom. He made the bathroom bigger and he made a washer and dryer. We'll go in it. Yeah, it's perfect for us because it's just the two of us and our two dogs that you heard barking. Max and Maddie. Sorry about them. So, uh, yeah, it's perfect. And when he gets it done, I'll, I'll do a studio tour. I'll do a house tour. It will be fun. It's been a year long project. It's been over a year. We bought the house last March. So my art room's almost done, but the house, you know, the kitchen still needs to be, um, worked on and stuff like that. But it's been fun. Well, you guys know, I've been telling you about it in my vlogs. You're probably bored to death. So anyway, all right, well, we've been on for an hour and a half. I was going to try to stick to an hour. <laughs> so we should hang up. Everybody should get uh, get back to what they were doing. This was so wonderful. Yeah, my husband, he's wonderful. He does this. He did this for a living. 
Yes, it was nice to uh, be, spend time with you too, Justine. You're very welcome, everyone. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm not going to be doing my videos, uh, my vlogs and my shop updates specifically on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the moment. I will get back to my schedule. Good. Oh, great. I'm so glad. Yeah, I always forget to tell people to hit the bell. I don't really hit the bell, everybody, so that you know when I'm, when I post a video or when I do a live. So everyone have a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And Catherine, I hope you're going to send me an email and get me your phone number and we should get together. All right, guys, we'll do another one. We'll do another one. I just don't know when I'll advertise it like I did this one. All right. I don't know how to turn. Okay. There's a, a, a end stream. This is really easy to do much easier than it used to be. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Love you all.